Hey y'all, we're going to go ahead and make some homemade hamburgers. I have three pounds of ground beef in my bowl. We are going to put one onion mushroom soup mix in here. You can use beefy onion, you can use regular onion soup mix, but I am using the onion mushroom. All right, y'all, now we're going to add in three tablespoons of Dale's, and I have that in here. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that in there, and I'll show you what it looks like so you can get yourself some at the store if you don't have any. Let's go ahead and add one packet of ranch dressing. I'm going to shake some pepper in here. All right, now we're going to add in two eggs. And now we're going to add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we're going to mix this together and we're going to let it sit for a little while. And we're going to make a cheese um, to stuff inside of our burgers before we put them on the grill. All right, y'all, so we got this all mixed up. We're going to go ahead and set this to the side and we're going to get ready to make the cheese that's going to go inside of our burgers. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna need some bacon. So I got a whole pound of bacon, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this up into little pieces, and we're gonna fry this, because we're gonna put this in our cheese mixture. I'm using my Weeby knife, if you wanna get yourself one of those. They are great, there's two different sizes. They're filet knives. I will put the link in the comment, and you can check them out on Facebook. I'm telling you, go get yourself one. They're awesome. All right, y'all, so now you want to pan, you want to turn your heat on, and we are going to add in our bacon that we just chopped up into our skillet, and we're going to get this all fried and crispy. All right, y'all, so once it's all fried up, we're going to go ahead and turn the heat off, and we're going to let this cool for just a little bit. All right, y'all, so I have one and a quarter cup of triple cheddar cheese in here. We're gonna take our bacon that we fried and we're gonna throw it in here. We're gonna take four tablespoons of mayonnaise and we're gonna also put it in our bowl here. Okay. All right, we're gonna put in two teaspoons of ranch and this is a half a teaspoon measure. So there's one teaspoon and there's two teaspoons of just powdered ranch. Now I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna use half of it plain for my kids. And the other, I'm gonna use the Lafitte Cajun Candied Jalapenos. And I will put the link in the comments if you wanna get yourself some of this. It's kinda of like camp cowboy candy. It's really delicious and sweet. And it's just all um, fine like relish. It's really good. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up first. All right, y'all. So I put them in two separate bowls. And I'm going to add in about a tablespoon and a half of the Lafitte Cajun Candied Jalapeno Relish. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this in. And I'm going to leave the other one plain for my kids. All right, y'all. So... You're going to take a little bit of your hamburger mixture and then we are going to take a little bit of our cheese and we're going to put it in the middle and then we're going to take some more hamburger and we are going to put it on top and make sure that we got everything sealed in. Okay, so just patty it around. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done. All right, y'all. So I got these all patted up with the cheese inside of it. It made eight burgers. So what you can do with the leftover stuff, you can just go ahead and put it on the top at the end and let that melt down. And that can be your cheese on the top. Okay, so I will show you what it looks like after it gets off the grill. All right, y'all. The burgers are all done. So these ones are the ones with the jalapeno. And this one's with not. So I had the extra cheese stuff and I just put it on the top and melt it down at the end when they're all done. 
So give these a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. The link for the cookbook will be above this post and below this post. I hope everybody gives us a try and has a wonderful day.